test testing how's it going everyone so I talk about ah, sorry I'm a little sunburned uh, talk about the comic book collection and these are my comics I have stored away so let's go uh, one by one we'll go through them all so spawn number nine and it is a newsstand, so it's got a, that extra premium on it. But this is the first appearance of Medieval Spawn and Angelo. So, uh, Medieval Spawn is actually started having his own series. Uh, I started targeting newsstand copies of the Spawn. So, first appearance of Overkill, Spawn number six. And I do have a some books that are setting out. Uh, this book was actually a gift. And then uh, I think it's a, uh, yeah, he gets his, I thought he got his anim animatium taken out. 75. And there is an error in this book. Uh, if you see a, a blue hologram, where that signature is. I believe there's a, it's like a double print or an error. But you can see that hologram pop up right there. All right. So, uh, Amazing Fantasy 15. So these are, I have two of these. And these are the Turkish reprints. Uh, I really like this cover. And the artist. Included, included other things with the purchase. It's taken out here. See, so you got Venom carrying Carnage. Uh, I still don't know that much about this print run, uh, but I know it's from the they're called a Turkish variant. All right. So I purchased this uh, gold edition. So it's called a gold edition because the foil. Yeah, gold foil logo. So there's one where it's white and there's another one where it's foil. Uh, I noticed there was less of a population report on the gold. So I'm pretty sure the the white one is possibly the first print and then the gold edition is afterwards. But population wise, there was less nine eights uh, on the gold edition. So I wanted to get this signed, but I couldn't get it done in time and turned into CGC. Uh, I believe the artist. Yeah. No, it's the story. It was uh, David. David Mission. So this this is another one. Uh, I want to say this was during COVID. This purchase was. So this is a crow. Uh, let the series, which is the one that you always see in my background in my videos. Are used to before I changed my setup. And then uh, James O'Barr, which is the creator of the crow. Uh, he signed it with Victims Aren't We All, which uh, that was one of the sayings in the movie. In the old original movie with uh, Brandon Lee. And then uh, these are, this is one of my personal ones. This is not, oops, I wouldn't consider this one an investment. This is more of a personal collection. Uh, I just really like the artwork, but it is signed by Stan Lee. It's a Scott Campbell color. And uh, it's one of his more popular covers. They do have a statue, this statue out, uh, but I have not. Uh, I've not been able to find it pretty well. Uh, so you picked up that one. Uh, another investment book. So. Uh, this is a Joe Sinnott sketch. It's a 9-8 with Magneto. 
and he was one of the ones to draw the first X-Men. So he did a, he did the, uh, I believe it was Fantastic Four, and I believe he started on the first X-Men, so it's a Magneto. And then I want to say later on, he did Spider-Man, I don't, I don't know if he did any of the Uncannies. So the two biggies, so this is the number one biggie right here. So this is a 9-4 white pages. All right, this is first appearance of the Punisher. So it's got Stan Lee, John Romita, and Gary, I believe it's Gary Conway, yeah. So this is the first appearance of the Punisher. And uh, so every time I think about it, I think like even in a 9-4, like the book came out in night like 1974 you know like this book is almost 50 years old and it's still in this condition so like it'd be a massive difference if it was a 9-8 but even in a 9-4 uh, this book is continually continuously rising uh, Another big hitter, which, uh, there we go. So this is the first appearance of Gwen Stacy and Harry Osborn. Amazing Spider-Man 31 came out in 1965. So this one already, 2015 would have been 50 years. So. This book is already like 50 plus years old. It's a 90 white pages and it's signed by Stan Lee. And uh, when you look at the population reports, there is less than 10. And I think uh, as far as signings go, it's only a 9-4, a 9-2, and a 9 -0. There's no 9-6s or 9-8s that are signed. Uh, and as far as that are signed by Stan Lee, I think there's only a handful out there. Uh, but that was an investment spec I, I took on a long time ago. And it's just starting to show promise. So we got another blue label there. This is just a Del Auto for personal collection. As you guys know, I always have Del Autos or Campbell's that I'm purchasing. Uh, so this one is personal slash investment. Uh, so this has the, <clears throat> the first appearance of Codex, which you've seen a different variant of this, the Del Auto variant. This right here is the Clayton, Clayton Crane variant. All right, and then the, there's a white background and a black background. The black background was limited to a thousand copies. And then with this copy, if you see, this is called the murder signature. So it just looks like blood got sprayed and then if you see right there it actually has his thumbprint in the signature uh they didn't mark it here uh but i have not found any others like this and you know i really like his artwork so i especially with like the symbiotes and stuff because they all they just look all wet and shiny just the way they do it so uh, as far as value goes, I do not know the value, but I will say I do believe I overpaid. Uh, but at the same time, it was worth it. So, so it's an artist I like. It's a cover I like. You know, and then it's got that rarity of it. So this one here, this is another Scott Campbell cover. And this one, you might actually recognize. So he, uh, Scott Campbell, whenever... He, he was getting criticized again for his art, which isn't the first time. Uh, he actually put this cover up and did a draw it better contest. And I have it signed by, whoop, I have it signed by Scott Campbell, Mike McCone, and Stan Lee. So these are more of personal favorite books. Uh, I wouldn't consider them investment. Uh, the three artists that I'm, are, actually it's four artists because Peach, Peach Romoko, I'm, I'm starting to 
really like as well. Ever since the uh, Crow books, I've been open to hers. So this is the uh, Todd McFarlane's first Spider-Man issue. So this is the black. Usually when you see it, uh, you'll see it in either gold, uh, the original, and then there's a platinum. And the platinum, platinum you can get, uh, ask for a high premium. But this copy is signed by Todd McFarlane and Stan Lee, both in silver. So that's why I selected whenever I seen this available, I picked it up. So back in 1990. This is Todd McFarlane's first uh, solo Spider-Man comic. So that is a that's a key that's pretty much in everybody's uh, everybody's collection. And this is an investment book. So we all know the Morbius movie is coming out. So this is the second, uh, but it is a nine eight, and it's white pages. This is the second print, which is like the silverish background that you see. Uh, it is signed by Stan Lee and John Romita, and uh, even though uh, it's a reprint, the value on this book is actually extremely high. One, there's not many signed by Stan Lee, and two, because it's a second printing, uh, you know, it was always assumed these are worthless. Like even the uh, 361 reprints, I've seen those um, actually sell pretty high because it's usually assumed that these reprints uh, don't have any value. Now, a 9.8 from the original, I think it was 19, I want to say it was 1971. Uh, a 9.8 in that goes for like tens of thousands. I think it, right now it's at like 13,000 for a 9.8. But, uh, Roughly, I would value this one at about 3000 It's probably less than that, but I wouldn't sell it for less than three. Because it is an extreme, <clears throat> extremely rare book. I would be surprised if there's more than three that exist. Okay, so this is my only 9-9. This is the Do You Poo variant. So this is a 9-9. So, and this is a Stan Lee. So, and this is an Amazing Fantasy 15 variant, but it's Do You Poo. So, got in a little bit of a bidding war for this one. Uh, a few months ago, though, there was a 10 that came out. So, when I originally researched it, um, <clears throat> there was uh, there was only one nine nine. But then I ended up finding a, a 10 out there. And this is a Del Auto cover of Shredder. I just really, really love Del Auto's artwork. So I just like all the realism. Like an armor. It's great. So this is the other Turkish cover. And this one's actually a 9.6. Uh, the reason why I went with uh, the 9.6 is because that uh, the sketch of Gwen Stacy there. And so it's Miles Morales, Spider Gwen. So I wish it was a 9.8, but still a very clean book. So it's the Turkish variant there. There we go. So. This one I'm excited for. This is on uh, my list of like books for Todd McFarlane to sign. So when Frank Miller had his signing during COVID, uh, sent this one in and we got a got a nine eight. So this is a poster I actually had when I was a kid. I actually had this poster from uh, I believe it was one of those Wizard magazines. Uh, I actually had. Uh, that poster in my room when I was a kid. So this is another Del Auto cover. <clears throat> and ironically, uh, this one is actually a key. Uh, first appearance of Barbados. Uh, he's supposed to be like a, a demon. So 
but I'm not very huge on DC. I'm, I'm still not, but uh, the Dado artwork is still I still appreciate it. <clears throat> just in general, just as artwork. So this is a, a two piece here, and this is a Scott Campbell cover again. And it's got a lot of signatures on it, and then the piece that goes together with it. So this is the famous issue of Death of Peter Parker, and this is just a variant cover. Uh, let's see. What's the other half? Uh, Superior Spider Man. So then you just do a cover like so. And that's how you're supposed to prop them up. So. But uh, for what I paid for these, I've, I've seen them triple in price. Uh, I bought them as a set. can't really find them at prices up automatic anymore. I still wouldn't consider those an investment, but uh, I think they, they kind of are. Uh, this cover, I was actually researching it. Uh, and then for this cover, I mean, the, the main reason why I bought it uh, was just the exclusive. And it was, there was only 398 copies for CBCS. And this is one of them. But it, it, it has that Clayton Crane type like wet artwork as well. Uh, it's Venom and Carnage. And it's signed by uh, Mike Mayhew. Alright, so this is uh, one of the other investment grade books. So this here is the first appearance of Rogue. And then uh, <coughs> when uh, Chris Claremont was doing his during COVID, doing his signing, uh, had this sent in for him to sign. So this book is constantly gaining value. Uh, and that's another one. <clears throat> Where, uh, it came out in 81 so you're looking at a 40 year old book that's basically in perfect condition and uh, the more I think about it so this was the spec that I had uh, when the new Batman trailer came out where it was based on this book so I mean we'll still see uh, it's year zero I think it's I want to say it's year one, but this was like a like a prequel type. So I took a gamble on it because I was able to find it very cheap. I'm probably wrong because uh, I'm not too familiar with the storyline, but I was just chasing the news. What is that? So this one is actually a gift, and this is a Spawn 300 Scott Campbell cover, because I really like Scott Campbell. So, that's in a 9.8. But yeah, not everything, not everything has to be an investment, you know? Like uh, Fantastic Four 48, this is one of their big boys right now. It's always been that a key, but uh, with recent news of 
Galactus uh, being the new main villain and Silver Surfer with Fantastic Four coming. Uh, it just, it makes it that much bigger of a key. Uh, I actually purchased this uh, during COVID in an auction and uh, I got it for a very good price and it's signed by Stan Lee and Joe Sinnott. But it's a it's a five five. But don't let the five five fool you. All right, the book came out in 1966. All right, it still has a so a very important key every collector wants in there. And then this right here, this is actually my first. Uh, investment that I ever took in a book and this was the uh, this one and the Omega Venom uh, and the signature which the way CGC does it uh, they have to witness the signature this is about one of the rarest books to actually have signed by Stan Lee uh, because shortly, uh, when this book hit circulation, unfortunately, Stanley uh, passed away. So, but the artwork for the Spider Man 800 is just it's beautiful, it's a Del Auto. Uh, but this book here is very sought after, especially if you have it signed. Uh, I don't know how many exist, I've only seen a few. Uh, but that's probably because, like myself, I'm not really planning on selling it anytime soon. And then this is a this is another investment issue because I I know Spider Gwen's coming. I know she is, uh, and I do have a bunch of other uh, books that are set out for grading still. But just wanted to show these off. Uh, can't really keep all your eggs in one basket <clears throat> just in case anything happens so but, so this was a misprint that happened so they call it the uh i believe it's, I believe it's labeled yeah the recalled recalled edition so but once again stanley signature john romita I think it's a uh, Jason Couture, right? Couture, Latour. Sorry. So. But uh, that's pretty much the most of it. Still got more. Uh, these are raw books. Haven't been graded yet. So this is another uh, panoramic cover. set those down. Amazing Spider-Man 48. So this is Gwynnum. So Spider Gwen when she gets the uh, and I have her first appearance. You've seen her in uh, other videos. So this is a Del Auto of Cobra. Which once again just the, the artwork speaks for itself when it comes to Del Auto. And then these were some books that I found in the storyline. Uh, I don't think they're major keys, but I know they've been spiking. And then uh, Craven's First Hunt, because that's starting to go. This is uh, another variant from Del Auto. <clears throat> and then we have, this was a spec. Uh, I don't have the back end. One of these are the normal one, and one of these are the UK variant. And the UK variant actually does the higher premium. So even though they look the same, they are not. So the, only one store uh, received that. And then I've heard arguments with this. Uh, having the first appearance of Venom 
I want to say this is the first appearance of Craven's daughter, I believe, but I'd have to double check to be honest. But there's just some more. And then some of these books are just books that, you know, you receive whenever you, you do a big purchase. And then, you know, sometimes they'll throw like a small key in there or something. So, but I do plan on getting some of these graded. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the collection. But yeah, just don't stick to one market, you know? Like always, always go around. Uh, Always look for opportunities no matter where. Because even though the card market's falling, the comic book market is not currently. But that doesn't mean six months from now uh, they aren't going to go down in value. Until I see you guys next time, guys. Enjoy.